Hi and welcome to my Python Advanced Train Ticketing System. Let me show you guys how this works. I can always clear or reset there. And let's select new destination. Let's assume we're going to Oxford. And is added. Let's say it's okay. Four of four added. All we just need to do now is to click on total there. You can exit if you want, which I don't intend to do. And here, this is a copy of the receipt either online or if you would like to print it out on the receipt selected class is standard and that is the cost of the ticket they are all added destination okay from departure point reference number time date and direct route so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you to python development environment and we put one of these together let's do that now guys start a new project and right here the first thing i tend to do is to import the following python library ticking to and i'm going to import it all enter a star there which denotes import all and i'm also going to import the library as well or ttk library import ttk library and i will also import random um what else do i need i need to import tickinter tickinter message box dot message yeah just double click on message box there we go and i'm going to import date time and i will also import time itself there we go now the next thing i want to do now is to create my class and i'll call this class train and let's enter column in there now declare our function or you can call that method initialize the following and it's going to be that is going to be self comma root and self comma root right oh before i do anything let me just enter semicolon there. then self comma root i'll define my title now self dot root dot root is going to be let's just call that root as well and the next thing is going to be let's come down here self dot title there i'm gonna call the title let's say advanced train there we go there now before i do any other thing what i intend to do is let me set the german tree out of the way the german tree and i'm going to also set the background layer, the background color um set dot root dot german tree and i'm going to make that let's go for 1300 by let's say 800 plus zero plus zero which means it's going to start from right at the top left hand side here okay now let's give it a color so i'm going to, i'm just going to, i'm going to leave the background color as uh, Gainsborough, which is equivalent to something gray so let's say uh, it's going to be background equals games borough yeah you can always change your background color if you want but that's the one i intend to use okay now i'm going to create my frame 
I'll call that main frame equals frame and this very frame is going to be right inside self dot root okay comma bg so the border I'm gonna make that about 10 I'll make the width equals 1350 and height let's put a comma there height I'm gonna make that let's go for 700 comma BG color is gonna be Gainsborough okay so you copy that and just dump it there put a G there there we go and what is let's get it raised relief equals rigid there close that and right here I'm now going to round up my main main frame here dot there that's the first frame created I'm just gonna copy this use that to create the other frames and this other frame I'm gonna call that let's go for top frame one top frame one there and this will be top frame one as well there okay I'm gonna copy this and change it to let's change it first to 100 and just change that to top frame 2 and change this to that so copy and paste it right underneath here there we go this is going to be top frame 2 there we go 2 and this I'm gonna make that about 1003 and here I'm gonna make this 500 there so before I continue let me just get this thing rounded up here so in here I'm gonna use an if statement if name equals equals no now let's say equals equals and let's enter and main and that and end it with semicolon then I'm going to say the root itself equals tk and we can just say application equals train which is the class name train root okay that is taken care of and we can also ask the root dot main frame I would like it to loop there okay that's taken care of so let's save our application now and I'm just going to give it let's come in here and just save it somewhere here Let's go straight into my Python folder and just call it pi underscore advance advance train save there. Okay, guys, if I run it now, all we just see will be a plain form. There we go. There, that's just the form. So I'm going to close that. I'm gonna copy this and just create some other frames in there. So let's add that one. This very frame I'm gonna call it. Uh, let's just say F1. That'll be frame one F1. F1 is going to be inside frame number two. Copy that. Paste that in here. Frame top uh, top frame two. And uh, let's change it height or the width to 
890 and the height I'm going to leave the height as about about 500 okay now let's change this to border I'm going to make that about 5 and I'll just leave it like that so here that will be F1 and F1 in this case is going to be inside row equals 0 comma and the column column as well is going to be 0 so I can copy F1 we stand for frame 1 and paste it in there changes to F2 and all I just need to change inside the F2 is going to be row equals 1 column equals 1 okay I'm now going to let's get this one padded to the to the x axis area there so what I'm going to do now is let me run it and see how that's going to look like I'll take it from there okay that's not too bad alright so what I'll just do is let's speed up the whole development of the frames then I'll get back to you guys shortly and right there I have all the all the codes for the frames all sorted okay have a good look at it let's take it from the top here from the main frame up to the buttons frame here I'm going to be using this one for the buttons there we go there bring it down okay let's try it so you guys see how that looks like this is how it's looking now there isn't much to it so what I now need to do is let me come in here and just enter the title okay right underneath here I just enter a comment line there then I'll enter my title there there we go that be that would be the title for my project I'm just going to block that as well underneath here there we go there um if we run it this is how it's going to look like for now there okay okay let's continue and right underneath the title I'm going to declare the following variables that I intend to use I'll call the very first one date one equals string parentheses and time one equals string as well parentheses and so alright those are my variables what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come down here and instead of assigning values to these variables that I've declared I'm just going to clear it out for now so let's come right in here copy those and just come right here and set the value that set equals nothing and the same thing applies to the second one as well in fact, all of the variables that I've declared there. Come on, paste that in there. So those are all my variables. I've assigned zero value to all of them. Now the next thing I like to do is okay, let's enter a line here. And this is going to be just for the widget actually. So that'll be label widget. Let's say label. So the very first one I'm going to use that for my for the title of my receipts so copy that and paste that down here and let's just modify that change the name to receipt and the same thing for the one below right so 
the following changes I'm going to carry out. First of all, I'm going to change this to maybe about 18. And what about here? Let's just change that to ticket training. Okay. No traveling. Traveling. So that will be traveling ticketing system. Yeah, something like that. And the border width is about make that 28 because it's not that large and then, then uh, I also need to change this I'm going to have to change that to frame top right the frame should be frame top right copy that and come right down here let's change where that widget is going to be resident to frame top right now let's run the program and see how that's going to look like there we go so one down let's take care of the rest so I'm just going to copy this and paste and just change things around for the others okay now I'm going to add some space you know just underneath here so what I intend to do is because of the design you have to put also put the design into consideration you might be wondering why do I want to do that but I'm gonna to have to do it anyway that is how I'm gonna do that I'll just add a bit of space a bit of room in here let's just type in space in here with a text box actually and that very text box would not have anything so um, that label I mean we have nothing so you come down in here so this very label I will leave that I will then delete I'm gonna get rid of this get rid of that yeah I will get rid of this as well so let's just say that's going to be BG equals light gray there we go and what else do I want to take care of the width I'm gonna make the width about let's go for 36 yeah that should be wide enough and the height I'm gonna make that about two okay what about the yeah, it's in the same frame and this time around the column in his own case is going to be column 6 and this will be 0 0 yeah let me run it and see how that's going to look like alright that's it right there I think I like it okay close that now there's something I need to do let's change the name of this to SP and another SP here there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of like speed it up and get back to you guys with all of the label widgets you guys know how to develop with, uh, labels anyway okay I have finished with this now let me just show you guys the widgets let's take it from here you've seen that before I'm gonna bring it down that's where I've added my space now to change the color of that very space take it down all the way to the second space bar that I created there all right if I run it this is how it's gonna look like for now there we go it's not looking that great yet but we're still working on it and just for your information someone would like to know why don't I kind of like indent it properly something like this okay for your lecturer or for your professors or your teachers make sure you get it right in my own case because it's going to take too much of lines of code mirror having to run down up and down that is why I actually leave mine like this okay I'm not under 
any professor or lecturer or teacher's examination but make sure you guys do it the right way the way they want for your project as for me I just intend to do it this way just for my video to give me enough room to work okay then so let's create some more widget to cover the rest of the the rest of the application right here and I also need to add a button add buttons here okay close that okay the next thing I like to do now is I'm gonna add let's add button to it and let's see how the how the right frame is gonna look like okay for now this is how it's looking but I'm gonna add I'm gonna add four buttons underneath here just to push this up a little bit okay let's do that so right underneath here the first button is going to be let's just say BTN total so BTN total equals widget button and widget button is going to be resident right inside this maybe I need a font as well I might as well just maybe copy those copy all of this and paste it right in here okay the text on this is going to be let's just call it total there we go and what else do I want let's set the width it's going to be about 8 height I'm going to make the height let's set to 4 1 I can always increase the height if I want to right so let's get it parted X axis padding I'm going to make that too and Y axis padding I'm going to make that maybe okay let's go for 16 to push it up a little bit there and add the border make the border around too there we go I'm going to close that up and let's come down here copy this and just get it rounded there we go and there that is going to be I'm going to make that grill copy that paste that in here undo that again come in here again copy control C and paste it here in this case this is going to be that will be around 10 yeah 10 10 by 0 that will be the very first one make this 0 so I'm going to run it let's see how that's going to look like then we can just copy and paste it around yeah that's my very first button there close that let's just copy it and need three more copy and paste it right down here okay get it indented and this is going to be one column one column two and column three yeah so let's run it and see how that's going to look like there that's how it's looking so I'm going to now change the data on it so this one is going to be exit and this the next one I'm going to call that reset I'm just going to call this clear or I can even add just three that's all right and change the names this one is clear and clear and the next one is going to be reset copy reset and reset why right here we have exit exit and exit 
So let's run it and see how that's gonna look like now. There we go, guys. So I'm almost almost done with. In fact, I'm done with this part of it now. All I just need is to, need to do is to get the functions in place. Okay. So I think maybe I will just call it the end of the first part of this tutorial because it's getting a bit too long now. I have the f first part of it completed anyway. So we need this. This one shouldn't take that long. So I'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial. See you guys shortly.